butterflies. Welcome to Mariposa of Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive and life coach. I'm a Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising. My Mercury's in Scorpio and my Venus is in Libra. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit jenniferlove.me. This reading is the current energy in love for Aries for June 2020. Um, we are currently in Venus retrograde, which is typically a challenging time for relationships, and not just romantic relationships, but relationships with your family and friends. And we are seeing a lot of conflict, um, especially with people on social media. So yeah, it's best to just stay out of it because it can escalate so quickly and never in the direction that you are intending. So just be super careful with your romantic relationships and try not to enter into any big commitments or, you know, decide that you're going to break up with someone because you just wait a few weeks until June 25th, you'll see which relationships are supposed to leave your life and which ones should remain. It's just a little bit easier at that time, astrologically. Strategy. So you have a Aries, you have a strategy for love this month, um, or it could be an indication that you need a strategy in love this month. So let's see what's going on for you guys and girls. I hope the shuffling isn't too loud. I just got a new microphone, so we'll see how it goes. your ex. So I feel like you're a little bit undecided as to what you want, but you know, the angels are saying that you need to decide, you need to come up with some kind of strategy for your love life. And whether that means, you know, I'm going to join this group, I'm going to join a book club, I'm going to um, hang out with certain friends who may introduce me to people, um, having some kind of plan, basically. Having the release your ex kind of, I don't always read past, present, future like that, but I kind of feel like if there's someone that's recently you're not sure about, um, by the end of the month you might see that it's time to let this person go. Um, and definitely clear your energy when you've done that. But obviously that's not a message for everyone. We don't want everyone um, releasing their partner if that's not, you know, needed. Um, so, you know, that's a message for a few of you. Um, watching, but certainly not for everyone. Um, let's get some more information about what's going on here. The hermit soul searching. Yeah, I feel like you've been trying to come up with, um, like I said, a strategy. Three of Pentacles collaboration. This is a collaboration with your friends. This is how you're supposed to move forward. Queen of Pentacles nurturing. Yeah, I feel like, um, You're too good for this person. <laughs> You're too good for this this person that's currently in your life. So if you don't have anybody, this is not your message, but if you are dating someone or you do have someone that you're in a relationship with, um, I feel like your angels are saying you're too good for them. And let your friends help you find someone more suitable. I do caution, you know, people, you know, when you complain to your good friends about who you're with, and it could be male or female, it doesn't matter. Men complain about women to their friends too, um, just as much as women complain about men. But um, when you're 
when you do complain about your person with your friends, then when you do decide on your own that, you know what, I am going to give this person a chance, or I'm going to give this person a second chance after they upset me or something happened or whatever, um, your friends don't always know all of the information. They don't know the big picture. They just know all the stuff you complained about to them. So then they're thinking, why is she going back with this guy? Or why would he give that woman another chance? Because they don't know all, they don't know everything, right? I mean, nobody knows everything except you and your person. So just be careful about all the things that you complain about to your friends because um, it can backfire on you. And I don't want to see that happen. Okay, there's some secrets here and the angels are guiding you to clear the air and I'm trying to figure out whose secrets these are. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's you or your person that is keeping a secret from the other, but I don't feel you're on the same page and um, you are being guided to talk about it or clear the air. So if there's something you've had like um, a suspicion about, like something you've been um, wondering about your person, like um, anything really, like they said this, but I'm not sure if that's right. Or, you know, they, they weren't telling me where they were the other day or something like that. Like it, it's not like necessarily like they're cheating on you secret. It's just like there's something that they don't want to tell you or they kind of feel anxious about talking to you about. So try to make it a safe space for this person to open up and share that information with you. Um, I, for some reason, I don't feel like you guys are on the same page or in vibrational alignment. So when you, if you decide to let this person go, please take the steps to clear your energy, but um, you do need to have this conversation in order to get on the same page with your person and get into vibrational alignment. So it's a positive message. I think, you know, um, there's definitely a few scenarios going on here, but for the most part, you know, having a discussion about things that concern you is healthy. That's a healthy relationship. That's what people do. So if you're getting resistance there from your person about they don't want to talk about it, or that would be a concern to me. Um, if you know you feel like there's secrets, um, but you know, make sure it's not coming from a place of lack or paranoia. Just you know, try to have a discussion about it. Whoa, true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So. Definitely for some people, this is something worth working on. For other people, you're too good for this person, you need to let them go. <laughs> so this very like uh, split personality message this month, which, you know, that's difficult. But uh, I have to like say what I'm feeling, like I can't, um, I can't make it up, you know, I can't, I can't pretend like that's not, that's not real. That's not what's happening. It's just I think that there's, I'm getting different energies here. Be confident. Warning signs. Yeah, so you've been, one, you've gotten some warning signs about these secrets that this person's keeping. So um, whatever your intuition has been telling you, if you've been feeling alone, um, and you feel like your person isn't giving you as much as they have in the past, that could be something to bring up in a discussion. You're going to be seeing clearly once you have this, you know, kind of clear the air discussion. Um, soulmate connection. Yeah, this is, this is good. True love, soulmate connection. This is really um, positive. So another, <laughs> another story I just came to me is that if you are with someone, but you still have lingering feelings for an ex, which, you know, like sometimes we jump back in to something new without clearing what has come before or, or really releasing it, letting it go. Um, it can interfere with what's happening now. So if you Aries are the one that needs 
to release an ex to be, you know, in a true connection with this new person that's your true love person, your soulmate person, um, please take the steps to do that. Just know that whoever you were with is not the one. The person you're with now is the one. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, gratitude be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals so if you've been having conversations in your head based on fear that's your ego talking you know like that that voice in your head that says oh my god you look horrible today when you look at yourself in the mirror or you know that voice that says he doesn't really love you she doesn't really care about you. Um, that fear-based messages are your own ego talking, whereas positive, um, uplifting type of messages are from the divine. So that's how you can tell the difference. So just try to surrender those thoughts that come from your ego. Tell your ego, thank you for sharing, but I'm going to um, choose something else to think today. Um, so just call it out and acknowledge it, but you don't have to believe everything your ego has to say to you. Let's get a message from your guardian angel. So hopefully, oof, bad shuffle. Hopefully that was a little bit enlightening about your situation. I mean, my advice definitely is to try to have that conversation about whatever is concerning you, whatever warning signs are concerning you. Change and transition, Archangel Azrael. Thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. I've picked this card for myself like two or three times in the last couple days <laughs> because my, I myself am going through a change in transition, but so are you, Aries, you're going through some kind of um, change in your life, and your guardian angel's saying that they're there for you, and you can call upon your guardian angel to help you, you can also call upon Archangel Azrael to help you with this change, it's just kind of like having that support, and having that, um, somebody's got your back kind of thing. Let's get a message of abundance for you for June. Aries, what is Aries' abundance message? The power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you in response to your prayers. So, the situation that you're in, it could be, you know, your financial situation, your living situation, your romantic situation. But, don't, well, I don't want to say don't, but be sure to pray, but then also be open to hearing the answer and being open to um, the miracle that you don't even know is happening behind the scenes to give you support and abundance because we don't always know all the pieces that are happening and so we think there's this one way that we're going to get, you know, let's say an increase in money to pay a bill that was unexpected. So you're like, oh gosh, please God and the angels, please bring me, uh, you know, that bonus I was expecting at work so I can pay for this bill. Now, you're limiting the universe in that way. You're saying, I only want an increase from my bonus rather than any other means. It's better to say, thank you, God, for 
healing this situation and bringing me everything I need when I need it. So you're making it more open to the universe to respond to your prayer in the best way possible. Not just, oh, I'm going to get a raise or I'm going to get money this way. But you can get money multiple ways. Like, So don't, try not to, I don't like saying don't, I have to stop saying that. <laughs> try not to, um, what do they call that? Um, it's kind of like telling the universe what to do. <laughs> You're, you don't try to prescribe to the universe what you want. Um, just be open to any solution that benefits you, right? Um, awesome. Well, I hope this um, message resonated with you. I hope this um, helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please uh, hit the thumbs up button below if you liked this video. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, drop a comment below and let me know if anything was spot on. Um, I will be going live and taking personal love and relationship questions a few times a month, so hit the notification bell if you'd like to participate. If you enjoy card of the day readings, you can follow me on Facebook at I'm Jennifer Love and Instagram at jenniferlove.me. I really love to do readings for you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit jenniferlove.me. All of my um, services and pricing is listed in there as descriptions and as well as my schedule. So you can book an appointment with me online. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has um, reached out to book with me. I love talking to you and I really appreciate the support. So don't forget that you always have a choice between love and fear. Choose love. I'll see you next month.